What's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards TV. Now we'll continue with the Flutter Android tutorials right here. Yesterday we talked about how to display simple snack bar. It was our hello world. Today we're talking about a list view. Okay, how to render items in simple cards in a list view. And then how to handle the on item click for those particular list items. So you can see we have a list of spacecrafts. Now if we click, then we are able to show a simple Cupertino alert dialog. This is we call a Cupertino alert dialog. You can see we've given it some text. We've given it a love icon. Then also we have the name right here. Okay. And then we have the OK button which we click to dismiss it. So this is what we're going to see. Basically a simple list. Now this right here list view is going to render items from a fixed length list. Okay. So what we normally call an array in other languages, in that programming language which we use to make our flat applications, we just call it, of course, a fixed length list. So this is what we're going to build right here. This, of course, is in the landscape mode. We're going to see how we can have it. Let's also see it, of course, in the, this is in the portrait mode. Let's see it in the landscape mode. And here we go with our landscape mode for our flat application so if we click it we are still able to show our cupertino alert dialog of course with the selected item so this is it guys this is what we're going to see of course the programming language is that the target of course is android and the framework is flutter so let's go ahead and start writing our app so first and foremost we have to create our project so navigate over to android studio then go to new and then choose flutter project okay so choose the new flutter project now i'm not going to go into the installation i'll assume that you guys have already installed flutter please if you haven't then you can actually get documentation in the flutter website now go ahead choose the flutter application is what we're going to build then of course you type your name when you're typing your project name it has to begin with small letters okay so have right there your name and then of course you choose your sdk path after installing the flutter you'll have to specify the flutter sdk path right here for example for me this is where i did install it and then you specify your project location okay and then of course a small description of right here your project so good do this one then of course click next then of course the domain and then click finish to generate for us our project okay so once you've created your project you can see this is our project structure now of course as you know flutter is a framework that allows us to build both android as well as the ios apps okay so in this case what we're going to do the things we're going to in be interested in is first is this main dot dot so this main dot dot is the main uh flutter file is actually where we write our code okay of course you can create more dot dot files we place them right here in the lib okay now this code that you place right here of course is the code that can be shared by both the android as well as the ios applications now in this case we we'll are going to reuse only one file the dot as you know flutter uses the dot programming language okay so that is a language that has existed for around seven years it was created by Google and was first released in the year 2011. It's very, very powerful yet very easy to learn language because its syntax is very similar to the C style languages like Java and C Sharp. So you're going to be very familiar with it even if you haven't ever learned that before. So we're interested in this one. But before that one, we have to come to this pubspec.yml. Now, this is a configuration file right here. This is where we specify first. Our application name you can see you can change it from right here but if you change it just make sure that you supply your name in of course uh, lowercase letters and then if you want to separate them you separate them using the underscore then you can also provide a simple description for that particular application then of course you specify dependencies normally dependencies can either be the inbuilt or local dependencies or of course uh, the packages which you get from online now in this case we're going to use only flutter as well as the uh, cupertino icons this will be our only dependencies so please 
just make sure you add these two okay sdk flutter as well as the cupertino icons specify them okay we're not fetching any dependencies from online we just have those ones so have that one right there of course if you wanted to use third party then you'd go ahead and then add them and then of course you'd use this one right here to get those packages from online now our application is going to use the material design theme so we're going to set this one to true uses material design so that will do for us that's the only thing we need to do, do under our pub spec do to ml then you simply jump over to our main dot that this are of course as we said we write our code first and foremost is to import now in that if you are importing packages you just use the import statement right there you can see we're importing two packages which of are of course defined in our flutter sdk first we have the material now this material will give us the material components like the app bar and also the cards which you are going to render in our application then we also have the cupertino now cupertino right here will is it give us the cupertino alert dialog okay which we're going to show you if you guys remember the nice alert dialog the ios style alert dialog which we're using yeah that was a cupertino alert dialog so we're going to use it so we add those dependent these two packages then having added them first we're going to create our class this class is we are calling it my app is our main class right here so this class will extend for us the stateless widget now if th of course uh, that is a purely object oriented language it actually has object oriented pillars and place object oriented pillars like the encapsulation inheritance so of course class we use class to encapsulate our code and then inheritance you use the extends keyword to inherit so in this case my app is deriving from the stateless widget so a stateless widget is basically a widget that does not have state almost all ui components in flutter we can also call them widget some of them can be stateful meaning that they can have mutable state or some of them can be stateless meaning that they can have an immutable state so normally whenever you are creating a widget you have to override the build method now this is what will build that particular widget and return it but first it's going to take a build context object right here as a parameter so first what you're going to do in this case will build and return our material app so return new material app material app of course is defined in our material dot that so return new material app then in its constructor we will first specify the title now this is the title of the application it's not really what will be shown in our app bar but it is the title which will be rendered alongside the icons which when the user clicks will start our application so give your application of course the name right here flutter okay actually the title of your app right here flutter list view okay then of course home what is our home well we're going to have a class which we call home and we just instantiate it right there to have the home then of course which theme are we going to use well new theme data and then we supply it the primary color so in my case i'll use orange as my primary color so i make sure i specify it right there now let's go ahead create this class called home so class home extends stateful widget this same round this widget we are creating called home it will have a state okay a mutable state so it's going to be able to maintain state so of course the moment you have right here the stateful widget you have to override the create state method so at override now create state is going to return for us a home state home state this is a class we are going to create in a short trial okay so we do that one we're going to instantiate this one and then return it now this is what we call a fat arrow uh, notation so basically it's like just having a simple function which has only one statement so this is just a shortcut okay just to display it in one line okay so we can have that one right there then of course we can have our home state so class home state extend state okay so of generic type home we've already created home class right here now this method still will be building and then returning for us a widget and yes it will be taking in a build context object 
so first and foremost you're going to define our list okay now these are the items that we'll be rendering of course in our list view in my case i'll be showing of course spacecrafts so from james webb enterprise hubble okay kepler all the way up to atlantis this will be my of course items now this is what we call this one a list these are simple list or a fixed list is what we normally call an array in other languages so in flutter we simply call it a list okay so they are dynamic list of course they are fixed length list like this one which of course you can think of as an array so we come right here first you're going to build a simple list view uh, item so var list view item equal to new list view dot builder we use the builder right here we're going to pass in several parameters first we're going to pass in our item count now what is our item count how many items are we going to have in our list view well we're going to have items based on the number of the spacecrafts that we have so spacecrafts dot length then of course item builder now we'll pass in build context as well as the index so we come right there and then we're passing in of course an anonymous class okay as you can see right here then we return what are we going to return right here so we return a new list title okay so we come right here and so list style list style okay now list style right here is going to represent for us a single list item so return list style now the title of course we're going to have a card so for each item we'll be showing a card now this card will have an elevation of five and then it's going to have a child this child is going to be a container object so the alignment this container is going to be aligned to the center left and then we're going to have the margin right here set so margin dot new edge says that only so top a margin of 10 as then bottom of course so a margin of 10 okay then also as a child inside our container we'll have a text now what will this text show is going to show the current item in our spacecraft so spacecrafts then we pass in the length now this will give us the current item then of course we show it as we pass in our text uh, class and then we have it as this child of our of course list view now we're going to listen to the tap event when the user taps a single card item what are we going to do well we're going to show a dialogue so we invoke the show dialogue method now this dialogue will have some properties for example barrier dismissal first and then we will pass it a context object then of course this show dialogue will have as a child is going to have a cupertino dialogue cupertino alert dialogue so new cupertino alert dialogue now this dialogue will have a title so this title we're going to use a column widget right here so this column will have several widgets the first widget will be a text now the text will get shown right here as the list view then secondly we'll have an icon so we instantiate an icon and then which icon are we going to show well icons that favor right first and then icons dot colors sorry color colors the thread so the color is red the icon is actually the favorite okay so these are cupertino uh icons that you are making use of so having done that one then we'll have of course the content right here so content new text right here and then what will be our text okay what will be shown actually when that particular dialogue is clicked what will be shown in the dialogue well we still get the current item in that particular alert dialogue and then of course show it okay so we do that one then of course we're going to have several actions for this particular dialogue so if these are clicks the flat button which will be rendered of course in our dialogue if we process it then what are we going to do navigator.of then we invoke the pop method okay and then we show right here as okay so this will have this text as okay so that's what we're going to do then of course we're going to come and then return a scaffold so return new scaffold object then in our scaffold we're going to pass in an app bar so app bar we instantiate our app bar 
now abba think of it as our toolbar in our application is going to have our title so title will have a text property flutter list view is what we're going to show inside the app bar okay so that's all we're going to do and then of course the body okay is going to be the list item remember we're doing all these ones inside our build method so at the end of the day this is what we're going to return right here this scaffold object it will have of course this particular app bar as our app bar and then the body will be the list item which you've just constructed right here okay this list item so that's basically our list view so the body will be our list view and then we'll have our app bar now that's what we're going to have we return it of course inside our scaffold object so having done that one then we have our main method in flutter of course and in fact in that programming language the entry point 20 application is the main method so we come right here have our main method and then what will we do well we're going to invoke the run app method and then we pass in the app that we want to run we instantiate it my app and then pass the instance right there so that's all we need to do guys so just go ahead and then uh, run if you have any devices you can just go ahead open your emulator and then click run now an alternative way of running the project is to go over to your project so you can also if you don't want to use the emulator you can just proceed over to where you have your project okay so you can come right here for example in my case if i have my project right here as this one then you come right click then if you have your git bash okay git bash is this particular terminal right here you can see you can install it and then if you have it right there then you go to where your project is then you type this one flutter.bat then build a pk then it's going to build for you the pk and then once it's built it is going to place it in our outputs right here under the apk then you can drag it of course to your device or you can drag it to your emulator that's an alternative way so please do that one and then like you just come have it right there okay and then you enter so it's going to take some time like around four or three minutes based on the speed depending on the speed of your machine so please do that one please remember to like this video share it make sure you guys subscribe you better subscribe because we're going to be doing a lot of flutter and android tutorials in general and also check our website http camposha dot info so like the video take care and also make sure you guys subscribe i'll catch you in the next class